Welcome to 50 Plus Beauty. This is the very first episode of my new YouTube channel, and I am as surprised as anyone else out there that I even have a YouTube channel. If you told me that I was going to do this six months ago, I would not have believed you. What led me here was, well, I'm past 50. In fact, I'll be 59 in about a month, April 22nd. Um, and basically, I was starting to really notice that my makeup, that I'd, I'd had the same makeup and the same skincare, or really lack of skincare. All I did was wash my face every night, and I did use sunblock, which, you know, you know, come to find out was one of the best things I could have been doing. But I did use sunblock, which was good. But my makeup was, was really aging me, and I, I really didn't even know it was the makeup for the longest time. I just thought, oh my land, I am getting so old, you know, I'm embarrassed in my Facebook pictures, they look so terrible. I was starting to take pictures rather than be in them. And so, about six months ago, I started searching on the internet for more youthful makeup. And pretty quickly, I found YouTube. And all of these wonderful 50 plus grown up women, I call them, um, who were, you know, researching skincare and sharing the information. You know, they were, you know, using Retin-A. I had used Retin-A in my early 40s for a couple of years and never got past the peelies and I looked terrible and so I gave it up as I think many people did with Retin-A. But they were using Retin-A and they were starting more slowly and they were, you know, doing it in a correct fashion um, that showed me that, you know, they, they really, that I really could have positive results using Retin-A. So basically, I started you know, watching these women, their skincare and their makeup, and maybe three months ago, I started making quite a few changes. I now have a skincare routine. I've been doing Retin-A for a couple of months now, and my skin is really starting to respond positively. I've started changing my makeup. You know, I would listen to the various reviews, watch the various reviews, and go out and buy different types of makeup, and I would you know, watch the tutorials and learn from them. And so really, I, it's, it's helped me feel so much better about myself to start to really look better. Um, this is a picture of me six months ago, um, my before picture, I guess, six months ago, where you can see what my makeup was like. And I did not change my makeup since I was like 40 years old. I had maybe five things I'd used, most of it CoverGirl. Um, and every, you know, I didn't change colors, didn't change brands. I just sort of thought, well, it worked and you know, whatever. I would just use the same stuff. But as you can tell in this picture, that very heavy foundation I was using, that Estee Lauder, it was double wear maximum coverage. It had looked good when I was 40, but it was looking really terrible um, from 50 on, really old, really aging. Um, and so basically, even before I'd gotten to YouTube though, I had made a change on my own to my makeup. I thought, well, maybe it should be brighter. So then I went to this look number two, uh, which was <laughs> what I could you know, come up with on my own, which is equally as scary, maybe more so. Um, sparkly and shiny blue shimmery eyeshadow and red lips um, so anyway that is what I came to on my own which as you can tell did not do me any favors but about six months ago again I started watching the wonderful 50 plus women on YouTube and started learning from them and getting really excited about the information that they were sharing because it was not only helping me look better but it was helping me get some confidence back you know, when I turned 50, I always kind of thought, you know, I went through kind of a midlife crisis where I thought, you know, um, before 50, I'd done all the fun things. You know, I had picked the man I was going to marry, gotten married, um, had children, watched them grow up, watched them graduate from school, you know, college, you know, whatever, you know, get involved in their own lives. Um, and so that was kind of the fun stuff to me. And I thought, gosh, is that all there is, you know? You, and I realized too that there's, there were a lot of things that I learned before the age of 50, largely through the school of hard knocks, much of it. And I found myself wishing that I could go back to myself, you know, as a younger person and tell young Beth the things that I learned. And so I spent a couple of years kind of wrestling with that and having emotional problems about that. And then I realized, you know, a lot of people live to their 90s or even 100. I hope to live to 100 someday if I'm healthy. And I realized that all those things that I learned in the first half, I could take those and use them to have an even better second half. And so that's really what I want this channel to be about, to all of us come together as a community of women to teach each other and help each other navigate the waters of getting to be a little bit more mature. Some of the things I'll be sharing with you on the journey is my journey with Retin-A because I have learned to really, really help most of the peeling subside and I've really learned to deal with that. I'll be sharing that journey. Derma rolling is also something I've been doing which has been wonderful. 
I derma roll my face once a week and I derma roll my lips about every other night and I'm going to show you a before and after picture of my lips and it really is kind of impressive I think um, I, I, I originally started derma rolling because I wanted to have more pumped up lips I'd had Juvederm um, I think it was Juvederm or Restylane injections once and it was like $800 and it lasted about seven months and I couldn't afford to keep doing that and my husband was very against the trout lips he, as he calls them so I thought well I'll use you know the derma rolling and this is the before and after and not only just in one month's time have I seen increased volume in my lips but I've also amazingly enough seen the shape of my lips change because when I started out the derma rolling on the upper left hand portion of my lip I always had to overline that because it was markedly short, a shorter lip it wasn't the same you know degree of arch as I have on the other side it looks weird and I'm still working on the lower part it's still a little uneven but derma rolling is actually changing the shape of my lips in addition to giving me some more volume which is amazing I've been kind of blown away by that um, another thing um, I'll be dealing with and sharing with you is my journey into some light chemical peels I've really found them to be super effective my hands I noticed my hands were starting to look like I was 80 years old before I came to YouTube and then I learned about light chemical peels um, I'll show you a before picture of my hands um, as you can see I was getting rather old looking in terms of my hands and now I don't have an after picture I need to do that and when I do my video I will do that but my hands have gotten markedly better through these light chemical peels I've even done peels on my arms because I noticed my arm skin was getting really old and so I'll be showing you that information also I think it's important to make beauty a habit um, because you know it's nice you know it's, it's fun to deal with beauty stuff but it's also nice if you can just incorporate these things easily and effortlessly into your life um, for instance I have a five minute shower beauty routine that I do and it has totally changed the skin on my body because up until I started this maybe I've been doing that for about six months ago but before I started my shower beauty routine um, I never used body lotion at all and my arms and legs were just getting horrible looking so I'm so happy to share that information with you and hopefully you know it's a, it's a good way to make beauty a little bit of a habit um, I've also discovered some things about weight and, and eating all my life I thought I must be one of those people who is a food addict because I was always thinking about food I was always worried about my weight my weight was fluctuating wildly and in fact when I when I had my first child I gained 75 pounds up to 200 pounds with Dylan my son um, because I ate you know like I really wanted to eat which was a huge volume of food in fact my husband called me the Punjabi um, during that pregnancy because he had this cute little wife and then she like blew up like a you know like a like a balloon it was horrible but basically I have you know gone through all sorts of different eating lifestyles and you know eating eating plans and all that through my through my life I was even a vegetarian for four or five years and I was actually heaviest that I've had I, I have ever been as a vegetarian and or vegan um, because it's a very high carb diet and and really what I'm learning is that carbs really fuel um, wanting to overeat but anyway I will tell you about my new eating plan and how that's worked out for me it's caused me to lose 10 pounds in fact sometimes I have to work to keep the weight on um, but it's it's really really a nice eating plan and in addition it has an autoimmune improvement function and literally my rheumatoid arthritis that the doctors told me I had for years um, is pretty much gone it's amazing what that eating plan has done for my life um, one thing about my personality is that I just love to read and study and research and try things I'm always trying new things and I love to share them with my friends and so that's what I hope this channel will be that it will be a friendship of women coming together um, to share ideas back and forth um, to help us kind of you know become grown-up women together um, and I also don't think we should keep beauty secrets they say the word beauty secret I think that's kind of selfish because if you found things that help you look better why not share them with everyone around you to help all of us become more beautiful um, I'm so excited that you're here with me on the very first episode of my new YouTube channel um, I'm so excited to join together with you I say so 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 a lot but I really am excited I hope you know that if you've liked this video you'll give me a thumbs up 
Even if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, and I hope you'll subscribe because I will be having a new video a week and I look forward to starting a conversation together back and forth. We can become more beautiful. Thanks and have a good time until I see you next time.